Hello everybody and welcome back to the Old Stream Farm. In the previous episode we harvested this field here. It was a potato field and we made a small profit which is astonishing considering it cost £30,500 to lease the harvester. But I wasn't going to do it with the trailed harvester so I just really wanted to get rid of the crop and the fact that we made a profit from a crop I didn't even want was good. I think we made a profit of about five or six thousand pounds so uh, yeah that money can now go towards something else. Anyway I'm just going to put this in here, it is rented, uh, eventually we'll buy our own but as we have paid for this day we'll keep hold of it for today and we need to get, well actually it was mentioned that I could just purchase the um, soil information for a particular field or we could do it ourselves. I do like to do it ourselves, it's more fun but that is definitely a possibility. So for example for number 29 the grass field would just come from, uh, we could purchase soil information. I've never actually clicked that so I don't know if it would say are you sure you want to do this or if it would just purchase it. Uh, I'll, I'll do it as a test then, we'll, we'll click it. Okay so it does tell us number of samples seven. Um, actually this is probably a more efficient way because I probably do more than I need to. We'll purchase one and we'll do one. So we'll purchase the smaller field for 29, uh, 612 pounds. So we now know the soil information there. Mostly sandy loam, but there is some loam. I do like the loam. The loam is good, but we need to do for number eight and that will cost us, if we were to do it like this, 962. It'll probably be over a thousand when I do it myself because yeah, as I said, it's not quite as efficient when I do it because of my overlapping and all that sort of stuff. But here is our piece of equipment to do this job with. So well, we'll see if we can get it under the price it said. But I do expect it to be about 1,050-ish, maybe 1,100. Of course, I'm studying the uh, minimap, trying to get the circle in the best possible location, but it has to cover all the ground. It has to cover the entire field. So we'll do the first one just here. And actually, there was a bit of overlap, wasn't there? from another field. A very, very small amount, but something. The thing is, we do need to cover the entire field. Every single little bit, so that's when I start to uh, become less efficient. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's left it in a pretty bad place regarding this corner. But yeah, it's not terrible. What have I done? Three. Yes, three. Because now we're going to be well within this field. We can go all the way over to about here. I've noticed the circle does bleed a bit, so it goes a little bit further than the area you're covering makes it easier. This is going to be a good one, really good one. There we go. And it's going to leave a tiny, tiny bit, which we don't have to do, but I'm going to do it. How many is that? Five. So it is just, but actually what I can do is I can get it to cover some of that field. We don't own it, but at least we're then making more use of it. I don't know if I can actually be in that field. No. So I'll have to be right on the edge of our field, but then cover some of that field. There we go. So now we can send the results off to the lab and we'll see what it costs. I think that might have been cheap, you know. I think we were paying, you're paying for the convenience and for not having to buy the machine. 300, way cheaper. So, yeah, although it is several thousand pounds to purchase this piece of machinery, if you were doing many fields, it would soon become... It, well, it would soon pay itself off, basically. Really good. Anyway, I now need to establish what we're doing next. It would make sense to put another crop in that field. Um, also, the grass field could do with fertilizer and lime. We, we want cows, basically. We want cows for manure, so that we're not purchasing granular fertilizer. 
So I think... Well, we'll get the lime spreader going. This is going to be a job for the 5475, which is this one here. Which I'm really impressed with. It did a fantastic job with that trailer yesterday. It pulled it with ease, and it was so heavy. We were carrying 12 tonnes of potatoes at a time. Come on, chicken. Okay, you stay in the middle. <laughs> there we go. Right. Stay in the middle. So what do we have? We've got uh, fertiliser in here currently, so that needs to be taken out. It's just gone over there. We'll get the Merlot started up. Looks like it's... Uh, had a bad night. And I need to put these back into there. So I'll put the tines to their widest setting. Can I get four at a time? No. We will certainly require all of these. If we need to go and buy some more, we will do. This is like the profit from the potatoes. We can uh, spend the money on lime and fertilizer. As soon as we can remove having to buy fertilizer, that's going to help the farm massively. Right, got a bit more here. And then I'll finish by putting that fertilizer back in the shed, keep it nice and dry. We don't want it getting wet. So yeah, both fields, really, uh, potato field and the grass field, are going to have to have lime. They did spawn at a bit of a awkward angle for us, but not to worry. We can still get them. Actually, these are the sort of pallets that can go on the rack. If we get more of them, we'll put them on the rack. So, first things first. Potato field, because it's really close. It's right here. So we'll just do it. We've got 60%, and the 40% that we've already used has covered the previous two fields. Was it two fields? Can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was that small one out the front as well. Um, so, yes, it should be enough. It really should be enough for both of these. This is one of our larger fields. Are we set to maximum width? I think so. Right, not the best place there. It's not quite as wide as that. So that is applying uh, 3.5 tonnes per hectare. It looks like it does need to apply quite a lot. But that's going to vary depending on the soil type. So once we get over to the top area, around here, um, the application rate will likely change. Yes, 4.38 tonnes now. And that might change again. No. Back to 3.5. So, luckily, it looks like the majority of the field is 3.5. I think we'll be able to get this done by 1-ish in game time. That might be pushing it. I'll try. Well, we got the first field done by one. But the second field is a bit after one. Ten past, pretty much. 
and we did have enough. I think that's great that we have managed to do four fields with one load of lime. Just make sure it's all covered. Sometimes it leaves a bit, but it is actually covered. Like there. Because it's on auto, it would have started if it wanted to apply it. Right, uh, so let's get this taken back to the yard, and then we should drill. Now, we don't actually have a drill. We have... Um, I don't know the technical name for it. I guess it's just like a, a harrow which can uh, sow certain seeds like grass and canola. But it can also do wheat. So maybe I should put canola in. In the bigger field. But it's a job for the 8S. And then of course we will have to apply fertiliser but we have got some left here. Not a great deal. I very much doubt there's enough. But we're working towards buying the interactive productions. I think that would be very interesting to do that. Okay then. Yeah, so we'll buy also a drill once we have the money. But I think we can currently make do with just wheat, grass and canola. Doesn't sound super exciting, but we've already got some other crops in the ground. Hopefully we're turning our wheat into flour for bread. Because I also want to purchase the oven, the oven production. Yeah, so canola makes sense. And if we run out of seed, which we definitely will do, we'll go back to the yard and we'll fill up. But as it's already half full, it does make sense just to get going. Okay, I'm rushing it. Yeah, this tractor has no problems at all pulling this. So much power. And that is another thing we probably will do, something which I don't normally do. Cover crops. I should put oilseed radish in. Because we're, we're going to have so many fields anyway that we won't even be able to keep on top of the harvesting. We won't be able to harvest every year. So having some as cover crops means we can just go along and cultivate it and then we get a free application of fertilizer. And I'm not too sure what happens if you have chopped straw enabled. If you were to do a wheat harvest for example and then chop the straw, that gives you one application of fertilizer. If you then put oilseed radish in, would that make the field 100% fertilized or would it remove the fertilizer from the oilseed radish because that's been consumed by that crop? I don't know, it would be a good test. It would be interesting to find out. Anyway, I just don't expect this to take long because this is wider and faster than the harvester. And I thought that was going to take a long time, but actually we managed to get it done quite quickly. And I had to cut, so yeah, I think we'll soon fly over this field. And obviously the grass field doesn't need to be done, but it could do with some fertiliser. We should probably start to look at cows after this. Hopefully these patches, which it keeps leaving, are actually being drilled. I know that in one of the fields we did it left patches and it did drill those patches, 
but the first one we did it didn't drill over the patches so we'll find out when I have a look at the map please please be done I've gone to here okay there's three but that's not really significant so it doesn't really matter yeah I don't know why it does that but it's not going to impact the uh, yield too much anyway we are done so either cows or harvest time next I haven't actually checked the other fields that we own we own fields that I haven't even been to yet so we really should take a look at them uh, let's just put this into this bay here Actually, this field number two, which is cultivated and doesn't have a crop in it. So that will have to be done. Maybe with a worker. Uh, field number two is up here. But there's also, actually, is there a field? Yes, field number 28 and field number 23 are fields that we own. And I have not visited them. Same with 22. 22 needs to be drilled as well. So there's quite a bit of drilling to do. But let's just check the status of these two they'll be ready tomorrow. Uh, so it looks like we don't need to use the wind drawer again. I can't see any reason why we would do. So I will now take the opportunity to return it. It's a shame. I would have liked to have done more with it. But, uh, well, next time we get it, we'll likely be purchasing it. But anyway, yes. Uh, two is just really good for a worker. So we've, we've filled up. We're 77% full. We will put wheat into there. I will be putting all the seed radish into one of them. We're going to have a lot of baling to do too at some point, so that's why we have the uh, lorry. It'd be good to fill it up with Heston bales. Ah, this field has gone green. The grass has germinated. It looks nice as grass. Well, don't stop. <laughs> I was just predicting that for me to pull out as it passed. And it goes and stops. Unbelievable. Okay, so I've done the bottom area. Just quickly. Uh, I went across three times. But this field is already so nice because it's cultivated. There's no stubble on the surface. It looks neat and tidy. We must be on clay here because it's taking 420 seeds per square meter, which sounds really high. But once this has been done, that should eliminate the possibility of a worker just driving off into the trees. I don't know why it took that texture, that's weird. Also, I've just checked, and the worker is not going to be buying seed as it goes. It's going to be consuming what is in the drill, which is exactly what we want. Same with the diesel. It's going to use the diesel in the tank of the tractor instead of paying as it goes. That would be unwise. I think only the very top of this field, actually, no, it might be quite a lot of it. This entire top section is clay. So that's why it's using a lot of seed. But further down the bottom, I think it's actually loam, so it should... I, I seem to remember it was green. Well, we'll soon find out. And then we can hopefully take a look at cows. We need cows. The sooner the better. Oh, this is a great view of the map from over here. Okay, I'm just watching the variable seed rate. I'm expecting it to go from red to green. It's quite a drastic change, but that's what we get with two different soil types. There we go. There was a slight little uh, transition. Saw a bit of yellow pop in, but not much. But that is done. So, spin around, and hopefully a worker can now achieve drilling the rest of this field, although yes, we should probably bring the Merlot across as there's not enough seed, because that top section is requiring so much. You can see what I did down here, three passes, yeah, it's not going to cover the first bit properly. Let's 
just the way the worker works. But from now on it should be fine. Two bags. Excuse me, chickens. It'd be nice to see that field all golden in the summertime. And although seasonal growth is switched off, the timing is still right. We're putting the wheat in in October, so we'll still be harvesting in the summertime. Right, I think we'll wait here. We'll just wait for it to come back down and then we'll refill. Okay, we won't then, it's stopped. Why have you stopped? Have you run out? No, you haven't run out. You just decided that enough is enough. What am I paying you for? Let's see how good this worker is. Gonna have to stop it again though because we need to refill. But at least it has now set the course. It knows exactly where it's gonna go to. Okay. Let us boom out. Should be able to reach. If I'm actually over it, I've gone beyond it. Lovely. And this can stay here. Right then, worker. Let's see you work. Work properly. Don't just stop. That's better. Okay, so where are the cows on this farm? I know they're in this area. That's where they are specifically. So, yes, if we can get them young, that would be best because then it's gonna be a lot cheaper and we should still get manure. They're still gonna poop. They just won't reproduce. So I, let me just uh, quickly see where we buy them from over here right so I'm gonna go with the brown Swiss uh, um, yeah 200 pounds each because we're basically paying for time and it is a substantial amount per cow I don't think we need to worry about time too much because we are going to be passing time quite quickly I'm going to get quite a few, because we can. Although we don't have tons of money, because we're buying them at this age, we can buy loads. Oh, I could have just gone back. We'll buy 60. For 15,000. It leaves us with 7,500, which should be enough, because we'll be harvesting soybeans tomorrow. Two fields of soybeans. And we don't need to keep the soybeans for any reason. So all of this will be sold. That's going to be great. Lots of money coming in. Uh, the price for soybeans at the moment is decreasing. That's very typical. <laughs> that's really bad. Uh, although, yes, that's on the train. And if it's anything like that, anything over 2,000, then I think, yes, we would say that's pretty good. Has that worker finished again? Well, it's nice to see the cows, but they do need water. Well, actually, the, the water probably is automatic. But we'll check. Okay, you have stopped. So despite me doing that, giving them a huge area to turn around, they just decided to plough through it. I guess it's because it is a cultivator and not a drill. It doesn't recognise the area that I've done. Let's just check those cows. Yeah, so turn them a crash in, that's fine. Well, it will be fine and water is all dealt with, so they've got water. 
and um, well I suppose we should start the fermentation of the pit I'll have to buy a couple of bales for them I know it might look a bit funny, but we do have 14,500 litres here, so this is silage that we need. It should have hopefully fermented by tomorrow, later on, or the day after. So the sooner we can get that done, the better. But yeah, for now we'll just get two silage bells purchased. We don't need to worry about total mixed ration at this stage, because they're not reproducing. They're just growing up. Uh, so we shall bring the Merlot back and then we'll grab two silage bells from the store just to keep them going until the pit is ready but uh, we will have to obviously get some more silage so well this grass field here will be ready at some point so will the field that we've already done but also we should really think about corn or maize so we can either buy a maize field or we could plant a maize field. A good thing to do would be to do a contract where we actually do plant a field for somebody and then we buy the field. I take it there are yeah lots of contracts yep. Only one sowing one it's potatoes. I think I've seen enough potatoes for a while. Anyway yes let's just go and get those two bells just so they've got something to keep them going but they do actually have all the grass in the field the game ignores that, but they do, so it's not like they have no food. Well, obviously we can't give them total mixed ration, that is a combination of the silage, hay and straw. Is it different for this map? I'm not too sure. Anyway, yes, we can give them hay, which is still 80% effectiveness. So in that case, we'll go on to here, we'll get the hay bales, get two of those, buy, and we'll get them taken over to them. At least it's something for them to keep them going. And yeah, our silage can be used for total extraction in the future. Not bad, 8,000 litres. Is that for each one? Or is that in total? Well, we'll soon find out. Let's go and pop it into their trough. I believe it is through here. Hopefully, when I put them down, they'll both be accepted. Might take a bit of time. Yeah, you can see them appearing here. You can see the feed appearing. Brilliant. So yeah, they were 8,000 each. 16,000 litres. So yeah, as it's hay, and that's what we can keep them going with for now, um, I will just make some hay on our own land. And then obviously we'll use the silage in the future for total mixed ration. And we'll keep the straw, some of the straw, not much, from the harvests. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.